Today we're going to read Heckity Peg. This is a book for older children because it's a little scary. I'm Heckity Peg and I lost my leg. Let me in. Ready? This was a family favorite. Here's the mom and her children. Stand over here, honey. Down the dusty road and far away, a poor mother once lived with her seven children named Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every day before the mother went to the market, her children helped with all the chores. One morning when they were finished, the mother said, Because you are such good children, you may ask for anything you want and I will bring it home from the market for you. The children were overjoyed and knew exactly what they wanted. Monday asked for a tub of butter. Tuesday asked for a pocket knife. Wednesday asked for a china pitcher. That's Wednesday. Thursday asked for a pot of honey. Friday asked for a tin of salt. Friday asked for a asked for crackers. And Sunday asked for a bowl of egg pudding. Here's Sunday down here. Yeah, that's Sunday. The mother kissed her children goodbye and said, Now careful and remember, don't let a stranger in and don't touch the fire. The children locked the door behind her and began to play. But soon, what happened? Eckity pay! Before long, a witch hobbled up the road pulling a heavy cart. She knocked at the window, knock, 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 and called out, I'm Heckity Peg and I lost my leg. Let me in. We can't, said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mother told us not to let a stranger in. Heckity Peg took a pipe from her cape and stuck it in her mouth. Come now, my sweet chickens. <laughs> sweet chicken. All I need is a light for my pipe. Bring me a burning straw. We can't, said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mother told us not to touch fire. Heckity Peg reached in her cart and pulled out a sack. I'm sure your mother mo won't mind. Look, if you let me in and light my pipe, I will, I will, I'll give you this, she said. Leaning, leaning out the window, the children looked into this sack. They couldn't believe their eyes. Gold, they said. For a sack of gold, we'll let you in and light your pipe. Uh-oh. Mom said no strangers and no fire, and they're about to do both. The children unlocked the door and let the witch in. They ran to the hearth and brought back sticks of straw to light her pipe. Such beautiful pictures. Daddy. But when it was lit, Heckity Peg threw the pipe to the floor and shouted, Now I've got you! And with that, the witch turned the children into food. Yikes. Monday became bread. Tuesday became pie. Wednesday became milk. Thursday became porridge. 
Friday became fish, Saturday became cheese, and Sunday became roast rib. Let's see, here's the roast rib. Yikes, now what? Hickety Peg gathered up the food, loaded it in her cart, and without looking back, she pulled the cart down the road, over the bridge, through the tramp, through the town, across the field, and deep into the woods to the witch's hut. You can see her in each of these pictures moving down the road, over the bridge, through the town, across the field, and deep into the woods to the witch's hut. Soon, the mother returned home carrying a large basket. In it were all the things her children wanted. A tub of put butter for Monday, a pocket knife for Tuesday, a china pitcher for Wednesday, a pot of honey for Thursday, a tin of salt for Friday, crackers for Saturday, and a bowl of egg pudding for Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, she called, but no one answered. The mother found the witch's broken pipe and burnt pieces of straw on the floor, and tears flowed from her eyes. Who has taken my children, she cried. A blackbird who had seen everything took pity on the mother and hopped down to the windowsill. The bird chirped, follow me, chirp, chirp. It's Heckity Peg, she's lost her leg and they let her in. Grabbing her basket, the mother followed the blackbird down the road, over the bridge, through the town, across the field, and yeah. deep into the Hello. woods Bye. to the witch's hut. Heckity Peg had just down to, sat down to supper and was about to take her first bite when she heard a loud knock, knock, knock on the door. There's that witch about to Maybe eat. She's about to eat. Want to see the bud? That's what we're doing. Let's see the bud. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, guys. I'm with a baby. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. You can't come in, said Heckity Peg. Your shoes are dirty. Then I'll take them off, the mother said, and so she did. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. You can't come in, said Heckity Peg. Your socks are dirty. Then I'll take them off, the mother said, and so she did. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. You still can't come in, said Heckity Peg. Your feet are dirty. Then I'll cut them off. Yikes. And she went away as if to do so, but instead the mother hid her legs behind her and crawled back to the witch's door. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. When Heckity Peg looked down, she thought the mother had no feet. So she let her in. See her crawling back, hiding her feet? The witch pointed to the table. Dramatic moment. The witch pointed to the table. Here are your children, she said. If you can't guess which child is which food correctly the first time, I'll eat them for my supper. Wow, heckity peg is me. Keeping her feet tucked beneath her, the mother crawled to the table. How would she ever guess which food was which child? 
In despair, the mother looked at her basket. Here are the things my children wanted, and now they will never have them. Hurry, said the witch, I'm hungry. The mother looked at the food on the table. Speak up, said the witch, my supper grows cold. Suddenly the mother knew what to do. Taking the things from her basket, she said, I know my children by what they want. Bread wants butter, that's Monday. Pie wants knife, that's Tuesday. Milk wants pitcher, that's Wednesday. Porridge wants honey, that's Thursday. Fish wants salt, that's Friday. Cheese wants crackers, that's Saturday. And roast rib wants egg pudding, that's Sunday. Ooh, pretty smart mother. She knows her children by what they want. Quick as a wink, the children turned back into themselves. They hugged and kissed their mother, and they hugged and kissed each other. Oh, it's so sweet. Jumping to her feet, the mother said, I've got my children now. I've got my children back, heckety peg. Now you'll be sorry you ever took them. Uh-oh. She chased the witch around the hut, out of the woods, across the field, through the town, and onto the bridge. And heckety peg jumped off the bridge and was never seen again. The end. The end. Love, Mimi. Mimi.